It was early quarantine and I was practicing taking photos of Lena. Um, this is just a thing that we do all the time because I'm, you know, trying to constantly be a better photographer. And when you're home, uh, you gotta use the models you have and mine's a toddler. But the funny thing is this photo actually isn't even from that like session. This was later. Uh, and there's an adage that's probably overused and that's the best camera is the one that you have with you. And uh, I'd, as I'd been working this session with Lena and we've been photographing with like this back backdrop and practicing with lights and stuff like that, I was just trying to come up with like some sort of like a, an epic photo to, to photograph of her. Um, I think I was inspired by some work by uh, Cy Moore out of New Zealand of using the backdrops and having like, you know, consistent lights and stuff. Once I got to the end of it, I realized that you know, I'd taken nine photos on the roll. I was like, I, I could just slap out this 10th here, but like, be an adult, film isn't free. So I put the camera out and you know, it definitely is a little bit funny that my house is quite used to having cameras laying around, but usually they're, uh, you know, a point and shoot or maybe an SLR, but to have a Mamiya RZ67 just like sitting on the counter all the time because you never know when the photo would strike. Um, feels pretty unique. Feels like that's probably not a whole lot of households. But with that, I was playing with Lena and running around. Uh, she has this little plastic car that she would sit on and I'd run and like slide her and like drift into the corners and stuff. She thought it was hilarious. And, but with that, it was just like, it was just a fun moment. I was like, yeah, this is, this is what we're, well, this is, this is what we're going for. Um, and I don't know why she was wearing her like bath towel unicorn, but she had that on sitting on the car. I was like, you're just being, you're just being a kid. And this is like the moment that I want to photograph. This is the thing I want to remember. And so uh, I grabbed the camera, um, got it kind of like put it in the, the corner where the good light was. So the back windows were kind of facing to the north, which meant that there was always a lot of light coming in, but it never was direct light. It was always very diffused, which made it to be a really good like direct on light source just because it would hit the skin, but it wouldn't cause deep shadows. It'd always be a pretty like soft light hitting there. So I drove her up and down and played with her a bunch, but knowing where the camera was already. And eventually just like slid her in, ran over and grabbed the camera. And usually she's like, she's pretty giggly and laughing a lot and stuff. But in this moment, she just like, just like, like a, I didn't even, like very regally just looks at me in kind of like a, not anger, not disdain, but also not joy, just a, yep. I don't know. And it's probably just because it's my kid that I like this photo so much, but it just feels that it's one of those little moments of time, those little things that you can only get when you prepare, when you are already ready for a photo to happen, and then just wait for the right moment to come along. Um, even if it requires you to leave a giant medium format camera sitting on your counter for a week until the right moment shows up. Mm -hmm.